This week marks the end of another proud South Texas tradition. We're talking about Texas Sand Fest. People traveled far and wide to see the beautifully detailed sand sculptures that line the beach in Port Aransas. Our Josh Maxwell spoke with Sandfest organizers to find out what exactly is going to happen to those well made and well thought out pieces of art. And he's here with us tonight with that report. Josh. Mike Leslie, as it turns out, even after the event officially ended last night, beachgoers today still got a chance to see the numerous masterpieces that grace the Port Aransas beach. In fact, organizers say while they're sad to see them go, it all boils down to returning the beach to how it was before. On Monday, crews could be seen wrapping up the 2024 Texas Sand Fest. But one question I'm sure you're wondering is what happens to the sculptures? Well, Sand Fest Vice President Renee Cano has the answer, but it may not be the one you want to hear. The city will come through with a bulldozer and they will bulldoze them and start uh, scraping all the beach back and getting all the sand back level. The Texas Sand Fest is the largest beach sand sculpture competition in the USA, and Cano says he has the numbers to prove it. I'm sure we were able to get Give half a million dollars back to the community. Uh, we're hoping to do that, if not more, this year. Even as the wonder and imagination begin to erode, Kano says that visitors use that window of opportunity to take in the castles and cats that are still standing. Uh, people are coming out, enjoying it. Even people that were here yesterday are still coming out, taking pictures, enjoying it. It's a little less crowded, a lot less crowded. That's where you'll find Tom Watson and his wife. The couple says enjoying Sandfest this way was an experience all in itself. This is actually the day after, so we're enjoying all the art without as many people and the cost. The couple says they got to sightsee like never before. They have a, a castle down over here that's really sharp. And what was the other one that I liked? I like this lady right here. She's pretty cool. While this year's sand fest has come to an end, Kano says its memory will live on through those who got to enjoy it. It's trending all over uh, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. People are sharing pictures, you know, from all over the world right now. Kano tells me that the beach should be back to normal by Wednesday. And for those interested in learning more about SanFest, you can find this story on our website, ktriplitv.com. Mike.